for this last video, I'm going to show you how this cryostat is held in place on the back end of the magnet. <clears throat> We've got this, um, this what is it, letter C or letter U-shaped um, mounting plate with a long vertical line to another plate that this cryostat sits in, and then we've got a stop here that holds the rounded surface of the cryostat against this mount, holds it down, and one on the other side as well. So what we have to do, first of all, is we have to loosen, take these off. Okay, I'll take one of them off so you can see what it looks like. It's a real pain in the butt to loosen them, but this is also a five millimeter. So we get our five millimeter in here. Let's see if I can actually reach it at this angle. Might have to change. Yeah, it's not long. It's not long enough at that angle, so we have to go in this way. Of course, this vacuum hose is in the way. But you can get it in there, and then this is one of those situations where you have to take the wrench out. Once you turn it, you know, 200 degrees, and then you have to turn it another 160 to get it back in because you're bumping into the magnet wall. But anyways, you just do that. You patiently use this. 5 millimeter Allen key to remove the um, bolt that is in this little fitting here that's holding the cryostat down against the mounting plate. Okay, and like I said, there's another one. Let's see how far I've got it. Oh, I've got it far, but not far enough. The other side has the same thing. So you just do this on both sides, and then you'll notice that your cryostat is freely floating, just sitting on top of this metal plate. Oh, there we go. So you can see this thing comes out. And it looks like this. You see it's got a rounded edge. That rounded edge is what holds the cryostat down onto the plate. Okay, you should, whenever you guys are doing this, you should take pictures every step of the way because when you're doing the reverse, you have to be able to know how to do it. So. Take pictures every step and then reverse them whenever it's time to reinstall, okay? And this this uh, bolt is actually free-floating, okay? It just goes in this hole here. Okay, the next thing you have to loosen is these two bolts, okay? These two bolts push this C-shaped bracket or U-shaped bracket really tightly bite into this mounting, um, this, this, um, this beam here it mounts into that beam really tightly. So this is where the big boy comes in. I think that was a, it was either an eight. Yeah, I think it was an eight. So these, this guy goes in here, turn that, loosen that. Okay, loosen them. They don't have to come all the way out. They just have to be loose. Um, you know, no longer as tight as they currently are. Uh, and you'll see why in a second, because what you're actually doing is you're gonna remove this back plate entirely. So it's no longer gonna be a C-shaped or U-shaped mount. It's going to be um, the number seven or the letter L. Okay, so you get your smallest um, smallest Allen key. I think this was a four. I can't remember what I said earlier. But the smallest Allen key, you take out one, two, three. You take them all the way out, and this long, skinny plate will just fall. You can grab it, make sure it doesn't fall. It's fine. All right, but this plate is what's making this, this mounting bracket tightly bound to this, um, this beam here. So once you remove that, then you really got a kind of a, a, a tentatively static situation. Hopefully it doesn't fall while you're, while you're dealing with it, but you'll wanna have lots of people around. Obviously this hose will already be disconnected, and according to you, you're gonna to wanna to actually wanna disconnect these hoses, although to move this cross set, you don't need to remove these hoses. Uh, you definitely should remove this hose though. Um, and then when it's time to remove it, you get one student on the front side of the magnet, you get another student right here, get low, bend their knees, don't bend your back, you don't want to hurt any backs here, and you have them support this weight. This is where most of the weight of the cryostat is, this body right here, okay? So they get under it, crouch low, they get under it. The student in the front lifts up, and then they both gingerly and carefully kind of move this cryostat back, backwards, straight back, okay, until it's clear of those two pole caps in the magnet. Once it's clear and it's, and it's right about here, then you've got to gingerly tilt it and slide it out, okay? So it really is kind of tough to get it out. You have to, you have, to have two people lifting a very heavy weight and they first bring it this way 
And then they go like that. They go like that afterwards, okay? They kind of sneak it. Let's see if I get my hand in video here. They sneak it this way, okay? And make sure you don't bump anything and so on. Now, you don't have to be as careful as you want to be in most cases because you identified there's already a leak. So the guys will have to fix that leak any anyways. Okay. With that, um, you're going to have to find, you know, your packing materials for this thing. It's going to be a big pink foam thing that looks like this. Look how beaten up ours is. It's really beaten up. But that's basically the bottom half. And then the top half is a very large vertical foam thing that slides on top. And then a box that installs over top of that. Okay, good luck, Peter. <laughs>